Scientists have long believed that there's an object on the outer reaches of our solar system. They believe this because Neptune, as well as other objects in the outer solar system, are being tugged at by some unseen object. Whatever that object is, it has a substantial gravitational pull, which could mean one of two things. It's either a giant planet, or it's a black hole. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news and we make it entertaining. I'm Charlotte Dobray, and I want to know what would you do if you found out a black hole had entered our solar system? Let me know down there in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that so we get to hang out every day. I have no friends. Back in 2016, two scientists, Konstantin Batigan and Mike Brown of the California Institute of Technology, announced that they had discovered a group of really distant objects that were clustered and moving with similar orbital alignments. Those alignments were tilted, so that meant that they were being corralled by a bigger planet gravity. As far as we know, no other big planet exists in that region. So Batigan and Brown hypothesized that there must be a planet out there that no one's discovered yet. If Planet 9 does exist, it's got to be huge, big enough to have a substantial gravitational pull with a mass of around 5 to 10 Earth sizes. But if Planet 9 really is that big, how is it that scientists haven't seen it yet? Sure, yeah, it's pretty far from the Sun, 10 to 20 times the orbital distance of Pluto, which would mean that it takes 10 to 20,000 years years just to orbit the sun once. Since the discovery in 2016, scientists have been scouring the skies in search of a planet, waiting to see if they could spot evidence that Planet 9 really exists. But now it turns out that Planet 9 might not be a planet after all. It might be a primordial black hole, you see. At least that's according to Jacob Schultz of Durham University and James Unwin of the University of Illinois at Chicago. In their new study, they made the hypothesis that there is a black hole in the outer reaches of our solar system that's about the size of a grapefruit, maybe a big grapefruit, more like a, more like a bowling ball, which means that there's a literal black hole within our solar system. So in case you're like freaking out behind your screen over there, this kind of black hole doesn't pose a threat to the rest of our solar system. It is too small to affect us from where we are and where it is. But objects in the outer solar system, that is a different story. Primordial black holes are the most ancient types of black holes. It's believed they were formed right after the Big Bang. Primordial black holes are very old and very small. Small. Scientists haven't directly observed a primordial black hole, but some indirect evidence does exist. Evidence like microlensing, which is the brightening of stars caused by a massive object passing in front. The curvature of space-time creates a magnifying lens. Schultz and Unwin tested out this theory with models. When they looked at what would happen to outer Earth objects if a black hole with a mass between 5 and 10 Earth masses was out there somewhere, they discovered that if a black hole was out there that had 6 times the mass of the Earth, it would cause similar orbital perturbations. A primordial black hole also explains why we actually haven't seen Planet 9, not even with infrared telescopes. A black hole wouldn't generate an infrared signal, and you definitely wouldn't be able to see it. The scientists also suggest that it could be dragging around a cloud of dark matter that's generating and annihilating different types of radiation. The scientists suggest that in order to find out for sure, there should be searches for moving sources of X-rays, gamma rays, and other high energy cosmic rays. Like all things science, there are people who disagree with this theory. It is more likely that Planet 9 is an actual planet and not a black hole. But until evidence is found that either one of those options is lurking at the edge of our solar system, we can't be certain. What do you think? Is Planet 9 a planet? Or is it a black hole? You'll see. Let me know down in those comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video quickly with some comment features. Okay. CPT Deedle said, bruh, there's a dislike. Haters have post notifications on too? Yes, they do. Hey, haters. You bored? You bored a little, you, know, you wanna click that dislike? Do it. Alexa said, where is the Bacon King? Johnny will be hosting on IO for the first time in a while, so you can expect him in a couple videos this week. If you're interested in seeing Johnny more, he's always hosting Top 10 Nerd and Top 10 Gaming. Phantom Claw said, if Charlotte is the Potato Queen, does she have a potato farm? Isn't that what you guys are? Okay, that's it for me, thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you with a bunch of videos just like this one. It's really sick, bruh. And obviously, if you like this video, you should leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'm gonna see you in a future IO video.